Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle of the Beer. I'm Lucas, this is Jason, and uh, today we're gonna do something a little bit different than we've normally done in the past. Uh, Jason, why don't you tell us about it? I would be happy to. So, you might have enjoyed this stylistic journey we've taken together here on the Flux to Post channel through the craft beer spectrum. But today, as Lucas alluded, we are doing something different, and that is budget beer. So, what is budget beer, you might be asking yourself? Well. If you walk through the supermarket and you know hidden away behind all the the name brands and your your craft beer heroes, we have this this section of oddly looking six packs bottles, and you're like, what is that? Well, we're calling that budget beer. So if you've ever been to an Aldi supermarket where we had both purchased these today, you might see these these delightful concoctions for your purchase. And well, that's budget beer. So Lucas, what budget beer? did you bring for me today? Yeah, I brought something I found on that dusty shelf <laughs> that may or may not have rats. Uh, it's called Wild Range IPA. So this is the an IPA. So yep, not uh, no hop aroma. Hardly any aroma at all. It's uh, I would describe it as a light. My first initial impression, it's like I'm drinking a Bud Light IPA. I mean, <laughs> it's very, very just muted overall. There's not no floral notes of any kind. Doesn't really strike you as particularly. Not particularly hoppy at all. I mean, it. I mean, I can tell it's an IPA. Mm -hmm. It's very, I, it's very laid back in flavor. I guess I'd say. Um, I'd almost, I'd almost compare it to a. Oh, a session now, really. Okay. But uh, so you know, pretty light, yeah. Pretty light, yeah. You know, I think. Are you sure you bought beer? Because this looks like <laughs> apple juice to well, me. Well, look at uh, look at my pour. <laughs> yeah, that uh, settled down in about five seconds. Aroma wise, a very faint. Now this is an amber ale, so it's a very faint like amber smell, but very light on the yeah. nose. Oh. I would have to say it's like drinking juice. It really <laughs> does taste. Yeah. It has, it has every characteristic of juice that I've ever any juice I've ever had. It it might as I, well be apple juice. I, I second that. It's very. That mm. was a very underwhelming thing to go through. <laughs> and that's why we call this first impressions. Mm hmm. our scores and as we forgot to mention when I say we I mean me this was the Revolution Harbor Amber Ale Lucas what did you think of it yeah that's what it was called uh, so Revolution Harbor okay. yeah I Everybody. I mean this won't take long hopefully the the appearance appearance the appearance it's it, I mean it is lackluster at best it really yeah. does look like apple juice Seriously. I, there's no head, there's no head retention, there's no lacing. It disappeared. It disappeared in two seconds. And what there was, was barely coated the surface. I really was surprised. I, I mean, I was expecting something that wasn't going to be great, but I wasn't expecting this level of Yeah, fullness. and I, I hate to go use it as a, an excuse or an indicator, but again, I'm questioning shelf life yeah. of the beer. And I've seen this purchase. I've seen this particular, someone else even in the store while I was there, I bought it too. So... It's again, it, I don't know. Somebody's how, buying it. Someone's buying it. I mean, <laughs> I can't even, you get it to about here and there is some funky thing going on there. It's very metallic It's got almost. this weird smell. Yeah, it and smells like copper pennies. The taste, I there's like that little bit of that amber, 
but it's not it's so weak it's so maybe my expect my expectations were too high for a bunch of beer and i i don't know i'm i was extremely you can taste the budget in this. in this one uh, yeah there's a lot of budget <laughs> so, and a lot of beer so how did you score it uh, appearance was a three mouthfeel is a two it really does taste like apple juice the only thing that i could think would be worse would be like like some kind of vomit beer or something. I mean, I'm 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 holding one to something that is just I can't even keep it in my mouth. If you know what I mean. Uh, so that was a two for mouthfeel. Taste is a two because again, I'm holding off that one for something that's really unpleasant. It it has a taste to it that I attribute to both beer. It <laughs> almost is like they took a facsimile of what they thought it was going to taste like, made it in a lab, and then injected liquid with that taste <laughs> i feel like the ipa has the same problem but uh, i gave it a two and then my overall satis or my uh, yeah overall satisfaction is a one because a one. honestly i couldn't yeah i wouldn't buy this ever again for no. any reason no i couldn't even <laughs> say like oh you don't really like beer try this like no. it was don't do it Just amber don't. ale like it did a disservice to amber ales in general so my overall um, score for this entire thing was a two. Yeah, I'm twos. I'll, to make it short, I'm twos across the board. Twos it's across just, the board. It, it's it's don't buy it. It's lackluster. I don't want I don't want to come off as judgy or anything like that. But I mean, we're not. We're by only by no means we're beer snobs. But just do yourself a favor. Take our word for it. Do not buy it. Well, one. we have taste buds, and these yeah. offended him. So. Yeah. All right. right let's move on. Yeah. So, what did you think about the Wild Range IPA? I'm curious because you. You consider yourself kind of an IPA guy, and well, that's the trendy thing to do. You have oh. to like IPAs if you like craft beer. Oh, I didn't I mean, know that. That's that's the, that's the how it works. So, what did you think? Yeah, what did you think? I'm curious. Well, after going off of this, this is like light years beyond. At least I can tell this is an IPA or trying to be or an beer. IPA. <laughs> um, I mean, appearance wise, I mean, at least look at it, there is some head retention. Yeah. And as you can see, you still have some nice lace in your glass. Yep. I don't. I mean, it is there. So this is much more. This looks looks like beer. Okay, so I'm gonna give yeah. it. I'm gonna give it a little more credit there. I gave it a four. Um, yeah, same here. Mouthfeel, not horrible. You know, it's got a little bit of a carbonated taste, a little just enough there. I, I'm I'm gonna just middle of the road. I gave it a five. Oh wow, I gave it a three. It. I mean, it, it's a little thin for me. It is thin. Um, yeah. It's that, carbonated though. It's That's carbonated. Nice. Uh, taste. It, it's like a weak session IPA. At least there's I can. There's that hop flavor there a little bit, you know, those grassy notes that we'll, we've yeah. talked about before. Nothing, it's not powerful by any means. It's not fantastic. It's It feels fake to me, though. It really does feel like artificial flavor, almost. I, I'm sure it's not. I, don't, I doubt it can be, but something about it just tastes cheap. Yeah. It's like the difference well, between good cereal and <laughs> off-brand cereal. So I gave it a four. And uh, the overall satisfaction, I, I oddly enough, I did give it a four. I, maybe I'm being generous. Maybe I'm just going from how terrible the amber <laughs> ale was. I don't know. So it gave me, a, yeah, I gave a four with an overall of a, oh. of a four. Oh, my goodness. Four on it. So, I mean, I, I, I would buy this again. I, I'd say I, the amber ale, never. That I probably would drink again. Yeah, this is like something I would drink if I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I wanted something that wasn't Budweiser or Coors Light or whatever. Um, it has a decent flavor to it, but it's not going to break your bank. Uh, I gave it an overall score of four as well. My, okay, okay. Yeah, so it sounds like we're pretty much in exact agreement. Yeah, in unison that just buy something. <laughs> anything is better than this. Yeah. It, this is the... I don't think anything could get lower than this. I don't know what would be yeah. worse than this. You know, this. I think I'll do a... a, a, a a service to the community and I will buy this again maybe in a couple months down the road just mm -hmm. to see if this is some fluke and this is that horrible because of you know age age is an issue really concerns me that there's no head I mean that makes me wonder that you know is it old or is something? it old so yeah hmm. so by unanimous vote the Wild Range IPA. Wild Range wins. IPA is the winner. This is week. the winner of the Aldi budget beer. Now there were some other selections there too. So yeah, maybe uh, we'll have, we'll have uh, to do another, you know, one. another one down the road. We'll see. You'll have to tune into this channel and the Flexpose Network in whole for that exciting journey. <laughs>